Welcome to the Suerte del Molino farm, Andalusia in Spain. Nature is nature. It tells me to shut up and carry on with my work. And that's what I'm doing. This camouflage artist is out because I hate these pipes all over the place. So I try to hide them. This is the highest level of the water coming into the land, except the rain. It's about 345 meters above sea level. I am 193 meters tall, so I have to, to follow this contour. I have to make sure I walk two meters below it. So for me to get water to a plain, to spread out the water is an extremely difficult assignment. There are guesses, there are educated guesses, and there are facts. It's amazing how many times I guess and how out I am. And if I take an educated guess, it gets a little bit better. I had some time to study the maps the last two days. And this is now the educated guess that comes out. I was amazed how much land is excluded from any access to me spreading water to it. So follow this. This is the culvert in the creek leading into this swale, three, four, five meters. And all that land is above it. And all that land is above it. Again, a guess, not educated guess. Uh, it can be 40% of the land is above that level of the culvert in the creek. Let's follow this. So, to get water up there, uh, we can pump it, but I cannot pump it from a running creek. So, it must be stored somewhere so that I can pump it. And uh, that is still the million dollar question. So I'm still on contour. All this land is above the three, four, five meter mark. I'll just walk up. This is the recycling works under the tree. I collected all the building rubble and building material from the site, from the farm and put it here. And this is the tiller that I have taken off the wheels because I have to change them. They don't work here. All this land, it's much higher, it's five meters higher than the water coming the top end of the creek. This is the start of the perhaps the largest natural area. Again, visually. I think so. It's the largest area we have set aside. So let me get back to my contour. Okay, 
so all this is on the left is above my water intake level and then all this is below so the water came to here where Max is already from that intake from the creek and it can actually go right to the other end if we can complete this swell building task and this is the west so panning towards this direction it is it is difficult to plan to spread water from the creek uh, many suggestions came to create bigger more swells smaller ponds and that makes more sense there's not even a place to put a, a dam um, it's just impossible in my education level perception let me go to the east back at the starting point this is towards the east and it's just up within 20 meters is 350 meters five meters higher than here enjoy it this is another forest this is the highest forest we have again huge <coughs> and now I am on the same level as the uh, inlet the culvert under the road and this is towards the pointy end of the pizza slice shape of this property so this is available for irrigation or for a pond everything here on the right it's not not on natural flow further towards the east let me go up this is now 347 this point there behind that tree is the highest 350 so none of this is available for natural irrigation flow we do this now by pump I'm taking a shortcut towards the far east sounds exotic through the forest the two culverts under the road are more or less on the same height so it doesn't change in the planning we don't have more favorable conditions in the one to the other culvert is over there I must bring my two meters into account and then the swale here and it goes this way everything above it 
is out of reach of any natural irrigation. This one is higher than our swales there. It works well. So, this eastern culvert, it can service this area here. And that's it. And when it rains two inches, 50 millimeters of more, it's flooded. <coughs> so, to make a pond here, it looks feasible, but it's not. When I made this, 10 centimeters below the surface of uh, the topsoil, we already have this roots. Um, these oaks have huge tap roots when they're small, and then very quickly they spread out. That tap root never goes more than, I will say, two meters. But they can go twice or three times their drip line. They can spread out their roots. I bought this property because of the trees. I have no desire to take out these trees or harm them. They already harmed a lot. And uh, the last thing I want to do is to inflict another disease because I cut off some roots or scratch them or expose them. So it was good to lie on my back, look at maps and made me think. Till next time, goodbye.